What's up everybody, welcome to Video Tech. So today's review is going to be of the Red Dragon Legend MMO Gaming Mouse. And if you are looking for this mouse and you live in South Africa, you can go check out Rebel Tech's website for awesome prices. But anyway, let's start with the review. First off, inside the box alongside the mouse, you get the manual, the CD with the drivers on, some additional glide pads and a small box for all your weights. Now, let's check out the actual mouse. And starting on the left side, you can already see the main feature of this mouse and who it's for. The left side has 16 programmable buttons for all your MMO needs. You get four columns with four buttons for each column. The eight in the front and the eight in the back are paired up and tilts inwards to make it easy for you to distinguish where each button is. This actually gives your thumb a place to sit as well. My thumb was usually on the two, three, six and seven buttons and it actually was pretty comfortable. But like most MMO multi-button mice, the left side doesn't feature any rubber padding for grip. So if you do play on a low DPI and you lift your mouse up to move around like I do, there is a chance that you might lose your grip when your hands are a bit sweaty, especially if you haven't removed any of the weights. On the right side, you get a smooth leather grip and a ring finger wrist. The shape of the right side does feel very comfortable and all your fingers has a place to sit and they do sit quite comfortably. At the front of Legend, you get the standard left and right mouse buttons that has Omrom switches. They have a standard feel to them, but I did find them a bit stiff. Next to the left click, you have a very welcome additional button. This is very handy when you want an additional key for quick and easy access. Next up, we have the scroll wheel, which is RGB illuminated and has an arrow textured grip. The grip does an okay job, but it is quite smooth, so you could over scroll sometimes. Then just behind the scroll wheel, you get four buttons. The first two are your DPI up and down switches. They let you cycle through the five DPI levels, which you can go change in the software. Each level has a dedicated color as well to let you know on what DPI level you are on. The button just behind the DPI switches are for your five lighting modes. The first mode is for a single static color. Next, you get a single color breathing effect after that, you have a single color flash effect. Then you have a seven color breathing effect. And then lastly, it just turns off the LED. Then the last button behind the scroll wheel is the profile switcher. That lets you switch between the five profiles that you can go set in the software. The entire top of the mouse has a smooth surface that picks up oil stains very easily, so you'll have to clean the mouse very frequently. You also get the RGB strip on the sides of the mouse and around the scroll wheel. On the palmers, you also get the RGB Red Dragon logo, which changes when you switch between profiles. The red and black braided cable has a length of 1.8 meters or 5.9 feet with a gold plated USB connector. Underneath the mouse is where you see the aluminium construction of the legend. You also have two small glide pads at the front and a single large one at the back. In the middle you get the Avogadro ADNS 9800 laser sensor that allows you to adjust the resolution from 50 all the way up to 16400 with 50 dpi increments for precise adjustability. I'm not a big fan of laser sensors because of the acceleration they have, but this is only a problem for FPS games where you need precise accuracy. The Legend is not aimed for that, it's an MMO mouse and because of that the laser sensor with higher DPI is perfectly fine. Then lastly underneath the mouse you have the bay for your 8 2.5 gram weights which you are able to take out and adjust the mouse to your desired weight. The Legend software lets you customize almost everything on the mouse. You are able to assign different commands to every button except for the lighting mode and the profile button. Along with that you can adjust some of the sensor settings like acceleration and scroll speed. With the DPI tab you can adjust or disable each of the 5 DPI levels to your exact needs. Like I previously said you are able to adjust the DPI levels with 50 increments. Then with the lighting tab you can change the lighting modes, color, brightness level and breathing or the flashing speeds. So you can just go play around with the legend software to get everything exactly the way you want. 
Now, unfortunately, I don't really play a lot of MMO games, but I did try it out in Fallout 4 and program some of the features to the eight front buttons. And it did make it quite easy to get any of my weapons or other assigned gear. I can just imagine how handy it would be for a MMO where you have tons of abilities and you quickly want to use one of them. The only problem is you're first gonna have to learn which of the abilities are assigned to which of the 16 buttons and then not accidentally press the wrong one in battle. But I'm sure after a while you'll be able to get the hang of it. Now let's take a look at the good and the bad aspects about the legend. So the good ones are it has a ton of buttons for all your MMO needs. It's comfortable taking in mind that it has the 16 buttons on the left side. It has a lot of RGB accents which does look cool when the lights are off and it has the removable weights. Now the bad ones unfortunately are the limited RGB effects it has. So it only has like those breathing effects which has only 7 colors and you can't really customize it a lot. And also the left and right mouse buttons are a bit stiff, it's not that bad, but I am used to mice that doesn't need a lot of pressure to press. Okay, and that was it for my review of the Red Dragon Legend. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Also, I hit a thousand subscribers, so I am going to do the giveaway on Monday. So I'm going to announce the winner on Monday for all of you guys to, for you guys to uh, know who actually won the mouse, the Red, uh, the Razor Death Adder Elite. Uh, if you do not win the mouse, you can always go buy one on Rebeltech's website and you can even get 200 Rand off by using the promo code linked into the review. So you can go check out the review to find the promo code and get 200 Rand off for the first five customers. So if you're looking for one, go check that out and yeah. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers guys.